Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Student Database Management System. Here's the requirements. We require an ID for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require code blocks or VS code for better experience. Third, we require an operating system which will be Windows 10 or any other latest version. Now we'll see the code. So here we go. So here we have all the header files included first, then we have certain functions which we will be seeing what does it do in the later part of the program. Then we have a structure named student, where the structure student is made to store student attributes like their name, cell number, DOP, address, etc. Then we have the main function where the variables which are being declared, they are going to perform the certain operations that we want them to do. Tasks are to enter the total number of students. There are four functionalities which this program gives us that is add student, edit student, search student and quit program. Then we have to enter our choice. Accordingly, if you press 1, you go to add student function, it's 2. Then we go to, first you need to add the students. If there are, will be no records in the array, then you will be asked to enter the records first. Then this is a student record table. Accordingly, roll number, name, father's number, father's name, cell number, date of birth and address will be displayed. Then, if you want to edit something, it will ask you which ID you want to edit and if the invalid uh, what ID you have given is invalid, it says sorry invalid ID number. We have to enter the students first because whatever is going to be done is going to be done on the student list only. The roll number which you want to search needs to be entered because after, accordingly the roll number will be displayed. Then, this will be the search again if you want to find a particular student based on some of the credentials then you can do. So this is the student record table. After doing everything it shows finish. Then the updated uh, student table will be displayed on screen. So now let's run it and we'll see what does this do. Total number of students will be say I want to enter two. What I'll do? I'll add a st add student. So his roll number is one two three four. Name is say Adarsh. Other name is Aditya. Cell number is zero. Date of birth is C twelve three thousand. One address is something for Malpada or something. Okay. Roll number again, second student's roll number one, two, three, five. Name is Priya. Father's name, okay. uh, Puneet. Roll number is. Data birth is 13, 4, 1001. Address it say Father and Bada. So see, we added right. Next, what we are going to do. So it, get, it got added. Now, I will edit a student. Which ID do you want to edit? I want to edit 1, 2, 3, ID. Now let's search for a student. Rule number is 1, 2, 3. Then I can quit the code. So I hope you understood the working of this program. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.